Good morning everyone. Our psalm of the day today is Psalm 110. Sometimes my neighbour comes around for a doorstep chat after watching his beloved Manchester United. Recently it's not all been good. Even one of their best players has been criticised. Fernandez is trying too hard. He's trying to play as a forward, a winger and midfielder. You just can't do that. He's just got to be one thing or the other. Psalm 110 is about the Messiah, David's Lord. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. And in the Gospels, Jesus quotes these lines to show that the Messiah isn't just the son of David, but he's also David's Lord, who existed before David. The song is about the risen and exalted Jesus, and the rest of the lyrics show how Jesus can fulfil two roles at the same time, in order to be our Saviour. Firstly, he's the victorious King. The Lord will extend your mighty scepter from Zion, saying, Rule in the midst of your enemies. The scepter, of course, is given to a king as a symbol of his reign. And this king will rule in the midst of his enemies. In fact, so great is his power that he will crush kings on the day of his wrath. These kings represent the nations who are rising up in rebellion against his rule. It may sound violent, but the reality is that if you belong to his kingdom, then you're, you're safe. If your faith is in King Jesus, then you're receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Jesus describes his future return in glory speaking to his sheep. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. Your faith at times may be weak, but there's nothing weak about King Jesus. Take courage. God the Father gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. But he's also the forever priest. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. The only other time we meet Melchizedek is in Genesis when Abraham meets him after battle. Melchizedek is king of Salem, but he's also a priest. Abraham gives him a tenth of the spoils. Melchizedek has no genealogy, no record of mother or father, birth or death. And in that sense, he seems to stand forever as a priest. And Melchizedek is a type or prefigurement of Jesus, who is not only a king, but also a priest. The writer to the Hebrews puts this beautifully. Therefore, Jesus is able to save completely those who come to God through him, because he always lives to intercede for them. Unlike the other high priests, he doesn't need to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins and then for the sins of the people. He sacrificed for their sins once for all, when he offered himself. Take courage. God the Father gives us his grace through our forever priest. So there we have it. Two vital roles combined in one person. Jesus Christ. Let's spend time praising God for Jesus, our King the risen, reigning and returning Lord. 
and spend more time praising God for Jesus, our High Priest, the sympathetic one, through whom we can approach God's throne of grace this morning to find mercy and grace to help in times of need. And praise God that he's not one thing or the other. He's both. He arose from the grave, hallelujah, and he lives never more to die. At the Father's right hand interceding, he will hear and heed our faintest cry. Amen.